Shalom, shalom. This thing's great. Um, start off by giving all praises as always. You know, for the, the, the Holy Spirit. You know, give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Kakadash. You know, to the Holy Spirit for um, putting the Spirit on me to do this lesson. And also, just get into, get into this reading. And hey, man, the Most High, they reveal some humbling stuff. You know, so I'm going to start off by saying, Call Halal, Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Kakadash, which means all praises to uh, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, which means he is to be, he exists. By Hashem means in the name, Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name interprets to me as he's a deliverer, he's a savior. All right, he's a deliverer and a savior to his people, which are the Hebrew Israelites. That being evident that he's from the tribe of Judah. All right, um, by Hashem and in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles of GMS, those who rule well, our teachers. I mean, like I'm off in the Shepherd of Berea camp. And yeah, getting straight to it. I had a most high, this, this is very humbling. All right, we're going to go to the book of Sirach, page 71, verse 1, verse 2. And, uh, you know, earlier through the Holy Spirit, I did a video off of uh, reading the first verse. And the Spirit just carry you when you once you just start reading verses. But verse 2, it says, Who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of rain and the days of eternity? All right, when you really, uh, the, the humbling thing about this whole thing is everything's calculated already, man. You worrying about the raindrops, they already calculated, man. You worrying about the uh, 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 the sand, the dirt, all the things, it's already calculated, man. With, 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 with the humbling process is that the things you may complain about, or the, they, they are calculated. They will already sort for how many times it's gonna rain throughout this year, how many raindrops is gonna fall. You know, it's everything is calculated, all right? It says, and it, it says, the sands of the sea, right? The drops of the rain, the days of eternity. The days of eternity. You know, men calculate all oh, 365 days of the year. And, you know, we've been around, they give an estimate for millions or billions of years of this, that, and the third. It's fully calculated with our, with our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And that's very humbling because within that calculation is your life being decided. And within your life being decided, you're calculated how many breaths you're going to take, how many steps you're going to take, and you're calculated how much wisdom you're going to have. All right? So going into it, he saw you devil. You already figured out. The most I have been having the prophets call you out already on how far you're going to go with your wisdom, and you will only get as far as that, that sea hit, you know, with that technology. You will only get far as that, and that's it. You can never get beyond that. You are limited, all right? You are limited to your rulership. You are limited to your wisdom. And you are limited to your soul as well because you will not live according to the scriptures um, after the thousand years when the kingdom of heaven is set up. So that's a humbling thing. But I'm going to finish going into it because it's humbling for, for everyone, right? But hey, that's the that's where we put the decisions in Yahweh and Yahweh Shahin. Now you know who to ask who to come before. Now you know who to fear. Verse 3, who can find out the height of heaven, right, and the breadth of the earth, and the deep and wisdom, right? Who can measure the level of wisdom there is in the earth? Who can measure the, you know, you're not going to have a scout reader like you see in Dragon Ball Z. It's, oh man, his wisdom level is on 7,000. You know, you're not going to be able to read that. You're not going to be able to, uh, um, uh, and everybody's wisdom is, is, is calculated to how much they shall receive. Why do you think the heathen nations did what they did? The Lord did not give them wisdom. He did, said it was going to dwell with Jacob. So they were limited to what they were going to be able to do. You know, each man in the truth is limited to the, his wisdom of that he had. But it says, better is one that, you know, hey, that fear of the Lord and know if little. You know, so it's not saying that um, you got to uh, have a all that matters is understanding and fearing the name of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. But the point of the matter is that everything is calculated. Everything is measured. And that right there as reading this uh, the Sirach was um, was humbling. So, you know, if everything's already calculated, right? Then that means you're already figured out. 
<laughs> Let's go to Job 14 and 5. If everything's already calculated, then you're figured out. You're not exclusive, nigga. You're not exclusive. <laughs> you are figured out. You are completely figured out. <laughs> the breaths, the steps, that is a, that's a, that man, Job chapter 14, verse 5, seeing his days are determined. All right, let's look up that word determined. Now, when we saying your days is how long you're going to live, right? Seeing your days are determined. Let's go into that, Job 14 and 5. I'm going to go into the uh, Blue Letter Bible. I have one on my phone, so sometimes it pops up a little different. But um, it pops up with the strong coordinates, but it's uh, same strong coordinates, right? So it says Strong's H2782, Karats. It says, decide, <laughs> decide to be, to, uh, to decide. So going back to Job 14 and 5, it says, see, his days are decided upon. You already figured out. Oh, so when he made you, you're like, I'm going to let him do this and do that. Let's go to Revelation, the 20th chapter. That's why it says the devil shall be loosed for a little season. Man, that's, that's right there alone. You know, you can never have pride about anything because you, you want a short time span. You know, you want a short time span, but see, when you're righteous, the Lord is going to bless you. You don't got to move erratic or, or, you know, nah, because it's the devil's going to have great, uh, great out knowing he has but a short time. We don't got to panic. I'm going to show you what we got to do is pray to the Heavenly Father. And he extended men's life. He, he did pull favors for men. He, he uh, the angels move a lot uh, from one area to another in a short period of time. The Lord stopped the sun from moving for Joshua. <laughs> We don't got nothing to worry about through the Holy Spirit, but we do got something to worry about when we're not. It, 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 it's, a, it's a double double thing. It's knowing that you figured out makes you know that, damn, I don't got it. But then it makes you turn to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, who can assist you. You see? So that's what our prayers do. Anything you do should be upon the Lord's assistance because everything's already figured out. How much money you gonna make? How many breaths you gonna take? How much food you gonna eat? You know, imagine that. That's all figured out by Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. All right. So, um, this is a Sirach. I mean, Revelation chapter twenty, um, verse th two. It says, and he held on. I'm just talking one. And I saw an angel come down from the heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. All right, and. This is representing during the, uh, the beginning of the Dark Ages, all right? Um, will be uh, Septimius Severus, right? Which would be uh, uh, Omen Omen Seven Cuts. But this is when um, the, uh, now with the beginning of uh, the Holy Roman Empire, where the Dark Ages, where Jake will rule, okay? When I say Jake, you so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right? Verse two, and he lay hold on the dragon Predominantly the, the, the southern kingdom because most of the, uh, when I say southern, I meaning Judah, Benjamin, Levi, most of the northern tribe was already in the Americas during this time, all right? Pursuant to the story in 2 Kings and 2 Edges 13, all right? It says, and he laid hold on a dragon in the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. So his, he, he was calculated on when he should be down. We experience it down as a nation, but it's calculated on how long we're going to be down. It was calculated to Abraham that we would spend 400 years inside of Egypt. All right, now they try to take that and say that that means here now, but that doesn't apply. That was talking about actual Egypt, which we in, but we are in spiritually Egypt now, you know? But everything is already calculated, you know? It says, verse 3. It says, and cast him into the bottomless pit, right? And shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. After that, he must be loose a little season, all right? And when you go into that word season, all right? <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to Job 14 and five. 
right? But um, just uh, as a quick preset, went into that Revelations 20, right? Um, it says a little season, right? When you go into that word season, it says a time, all right? A particular time period, all right? And, or interval, okay? Individual opportunity by implication, delay, years, old, season, space. It says often time, all right? So he shall be loose a little for a set period of time, all right? And this is why, and I'll go back to Job after this last precept, Revelations 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he have but a short time. So the time is ticking. You figured out already. You're getting so great with your technology, but that's your time ticking even, even, even more. <laughs> You know, because it's been already brought out for years now, you know, what the end game is, you know, the end game is, is that shit being made mandatory. All right. And then, the, you know, the, of course, the uh, full fulfillment of World War Three, the War of the Nations. OK. And within embodying that, the numbers deal with the elect being sealed. OK, so it revolves around the elect being sealed. But it's all calculated once again. All right, so he's coming down having great wrath, censoring the YouTube, trying to uh, create hate speech, trying to create uh, obstacles where the, uh, the, the truth isn't get out so the elect doesn't be sealed. And at the same time, he's trying to work on his uh, work on his science, but at the same time, same time, he's trying to keep peace. All right, so the war doesn't break out, you know, but at the end of the day, it's already decided upon. Going back to Job chapter 14, verse five, seeing his days are determined, they are decided, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Let's look at that word bounds. All right. It says thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. You can never get no further than your, your RFID. You can never get no further than, 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 than that. It'll never be another step after that. Okay. And you will not even be able to complete it according to the scriptures. You know, you will be able to uh, uh, complete making it. But you will never have the uh, fulfillment of it all, you know? This is Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his day, um, Slaki. Go on to uh, the word bounds. It says, um, it says, um, prescribed task. And then it says, civil enactment, enactments prescribed by God. So you will never go past your prescribed task. You only will, you're only allowed to make that and you're only given 66.6%, all right, of the children of Israel, two thirds, and that's it, all right? That's it, you know? That, that is already calculated by the Lord, you know? And that's humbling, because at the same time, the most high decides who's going to be under that percentage or not. Right? Not even you. <laughs> your works, your steps, and everything you do is already figured out and decided upon. You're not doing nothing new. Who you think you are to do anything new? You decided upon. You know? <laughs> hey, man. That's why you pray. And that's your how about should be always shy to be part of that hopeful elect. That the Lord uh, put a righteous spirit in you. Keep that Holy Spirit inside of you. Because the most high ultimately got the decisions made. You know, and you ain't going to move him or to do anything, you know, but, you know, you put up your, your prayers and your requests, of course, to the Heavenly Father, right? But, um, um, prescribed task. So check that out. So Esau has a prescribed task. He was decided upon already or what he was going to do. He was, he was made to be the devil. He was made to do that. Prescribed means to write down as a direction, law, or rule. Esau was put laws was put inside of him to follow all right to be ksd squad kill steal and destroy you know to be as i say in romans the 13th chapter um he beareth the sword not in vain you know he's a minister unto the most high that's his prescribed task all right um ordained okay so he was ordained he will not go beyond his um his uh, prescribed task, all right, his bounds that he cannot pass, 
All right. Um, that's it. That's it, man. Uh, is it more? It's more on it, but you know what? Let me read verse six. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a higher than his day. Right. That's it. You are a temp agent. You know, you really a temp agent. You are really a startup limited company. You, the most high gave you only one seed round, you know, and he's fully seed in Israel. You got one seed round, you know, uh, through this, through the, through the righteous, uh, through the, the real angel investor, the most high, and that's it. And after that, you're going, you're going, you're going to blow it all up and then you're done. You know, you forever shut down. Okay. So <clears throat> you, 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 you are, um, you, you are, uh, you, you know, to you shall accomplish. All right. Which is the test and put the tri earth through a trial. So you do have a, a sense of the most I made. It is a righteous sense because he's set forth to test and, um, try the elect. All right. Which is going, which is righteous. What I mean is, it is a righteous thing for how the Lord set it up. All right. He had his task is righteously set by the Lord, but he is the wicked. You know, only the, the elect is going to understand, <laughs> understand that. But that's a parable in itself. You know, the uh, the, the wicked are made um, um, for the day of evil, I believe. But I'm going to, um, let me, let me get... Let me get Proverbs 16 and 9. I get wrote these. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Right? At the end of the day, you know, that's the humbling thing about knowing uh, the truth of 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 um of you know the knowing the truth. The truth in general, in the truth of all, it, it just is the truth. The whole thing about it is that <clears throat> the Most High is going to um, direct your steps. So, however, or whomever, or whatever steps it's supposed to be, it's already calculated. The road, even though it don't seem paved, it's already paved because He directed you that way. You know, if it makes sense. It's already set to be paid, although it don't look like it's, it is paid, you know, because you are being directed that way. You know, it is already calculated you're going to go that way. You know what I'm saying? So the Most High has, has a, he directed the elect back towards him. He says, um, let me get that predestinated. All right. That's, that's pure high level science. That's mathematics that the, that the elect throughout all the um, things that they were put through will, will find their way back. It say they will be gathered by the word of the Holy One pursuant to Baruch 4 and, um, is that 4 and 31 or 4 and 37? Right? That they will be gathered by the word. Right? Um, real quick, Ephesians 1 and uh, 4, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Verse 5, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. So, you know, to be predestinated, that's your life is pre-calculated. It's already decided upon how your walk is going to be, the amount of wisdom you're going to have, the challenges you're going to go through, the, the lane you're going to take, because being predestinated means that you, you, you're you on the destination. So once again, going back to Proverbs, the 16th chapter, your, your steps was directed to meet certain men, to come into truth and do, these th and, and do the work of the Lord and and be guided unto uh, Lord willing, make it into the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's that's how the Lord set it up. <laughs> you know, um, um, this is uh, going back to Proverbs 16 and 9. Yeah, man's heart divided his way, but the Lord directed his steps. Yeah, I mentioned in Baruch. Let me just make sure I, I gave the right home, um, the right, uh, Said Baruch um, four. Let me see if that's the correct. The correct um, um four and thirty seven. It is four and thirty six. It says, O Jerusalem, Baruch four and thirty six. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh from thee from God. Right, facing the east. When you face the east, 
All right, the joy that comes from thee from God, verse 37, Lo, and it's saying Jerusalem, talking about you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Lo, thy sons come, and those who are um, scattered abroad. It says, Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. When I say scattered abroad, you might not uh, be identified as a so-called black, Latino, or Native American, right? You might be an Israelite that's in Thailand. You might be, you know, and you have Israelites that are saying Yahweh Shai in the Philippines and Thailand, you know, some that's um, um, amongst what is um amongst other heathen nations, okay, you got um some Israelites that look like the so-called white men, okay? But it says, um they, they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the glory of God. Right. So hey, like the priest Karakaha mentioned uh in his last video, right, that million man march, right? Hey, these dead is gonna be raised over the word of the Lord. I'll gather and we ain't doing a million man march or, or, or a walk down to Salem asking for uh, to, to be able to vote and equal votes and be able to sit on a bus. No, we're being gathered by this. All right? Through the YouTube, through the on the street preaching, through the through the uh spirit and power, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, and only thing we asking is to be delivered from out of this society, this wicked society, and to be righteous and to be delivered also from out of these um sinful bodies, you know. You know, we ain't looking to share this uh, with with the wicked. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah, man. Everything is already set. It's like uh, I watched this movie called The Menu. If you have it, it's on HBO Max. You can check it out. And um, when you watch that, all the courses are set. And when you go to a restaurant, all right, particular restaurants, it might be a five course meal restaurant. But the, the, the courses are already preset. It's set upon which you're going to eat that day once you go to that restaurant. Okay? That's how it is. The Lord set us to eat the bread of affliction, all right, for a time in the water of adversity. And then, all right, we were going to eat what? The bread of Yahweh, the bread of life, right? And drink of his blood, which is the wine, you know? And that's how we was going to, uh, do, you know, uh, that's, that's how it was set up, you know? And you know when you go to once again when you go to uh thing that's how that's how it is so we ate the uh ate that first but then we ended up eat taking in the uh the, the bread of adversity you know and that's why i said you can't eat at two tables you know but essentially we ate at the worst table first all right and now we're eating at the righteous table and we like what's at the righteous table all right <laughs> and the most is keeping us at that righteous table you know through the spirit and power y'all watching y'all with shot all right, and which what, what is at that righteous table? The lamb, you know, like I mentioned, the wine, you know, um, bread, you know, um, which is dealing with these holy scriptures, moving in righteousness, uh, the prophecy, um, the laws, the statutes, the commandments. Okay, um, I want to get Isaiah forty and twelve, you know, and like I said, this is uh really this, these scriptures is meant to put you in in a hope in a um a feeble state until your how about should be shot. Not to, uh, yeah, to be feet or like to come before the Lord is what I'm saying. Not a feeble state to be walking around weak, but it should be humbling to you to come before your how about and Yahweh Shai and ask for things because you already saw that you don't know if you're going to live tomorrow. Thank you know, you ask the Lord, you know, are you able to wake up the next day? You ask the Most High for another day to push forth this truth and do righteousness. You ask the Most High to be able to walk in a righteous path. You ask the Most High, you know, uh, to sustain you throughout the day. You ask the Most High for they say, uh, give us this day our daily bread. Matthew's the sixth chapter, right? You ask the Most High to keep evil away from you because everything is already sought out. The day is already set, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12. Who have measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and met it out of heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in the measure, right? Gold, the gold dust is already measured. Silver uh, of dust is already measured. Diamonds is already measured. You know, every resource is already numbered, you know? So when Esau will be like, oh man, we're running low on these resources or that, or whatever the case may be, he don't know the full exact amount of, of, of resources there is. He's still discovering parts of the earth. And if you don't believe that, well then read Jeremiah, because if he was able to measure it out, you know, then this earth wouldn't stand. You know, it wouldn't stand because that was a task, but also he would take everything from the motherfucker. So... <laughs> Excuse my language. He would take everything from this earth. Excuse my language, right? 
you know, just speaking out of, you know, because, you know, this dude, this is what he does. He doesn't stop. He doesn't leave nothing behind. He don't just let it sit there and, and let it, you know, praise the most high for it. He's trying to take it and figure it out. And, you know, some things you just leave, man. You know, some things you just, you know, enjoy and thank the most high for the sight of, man. You don't got to, you know, damn. But anyway, he, you know, that, hey, you know what I mean? Prescribed task. It says, um, in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in the balance. Right, so you got volcanoes erupting. You know, um, I just read an article that uh, Iceland uh, says the hottest temperatures in a thousand years. The, the melting, I, the mel melting ice sheets is going on, right? That's all set up. Ada, um, when you read about in, a, in Revelations, it talks about the um, Euphrates River. The Euphrates River is um, set to dry up. That's calculated. And it's set to dry up just to prepare the, king, the way for the kings of the east. So World War III can happen, you know? And that's set up, <laughs> all right? During the time the elect getting sealed, during the time this, this, this mark is implemented, and that's set up for the most how to judge the nations and deliver uh, the elect of Israel. Man, this whole thing is already calculated, man. So when you're watching it and we're bringing out news and prophecy, we're seeing how it's, it's, it's on the most high's timeline. You know, we're seeing it come to pass. We're seeing how well calculated Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is. And I'm going to get that in Daniel's, the fifth chapter, because that's not the first time a kingdom um, um, was exposed that kingdoms are numbered. All right? Kingdoms are actually numbered, man. You know, not just uh, uh, men's, men's lives, but a whole kingdom. Some people, uh, most people really uh, see, because they're so fully indoctrinated in this society that they don't believe that this has an end. Because it comes with a job and they see the food and they eat it. So, you, you know, you get caught up in the whole process of these things that you don't even see an end of it because you endlessly inside of it. Like the beautiful video by the priest of the they like that dude on the treadmill. You know, they're just, they're not going nowhere. They're just constantly in that hamster wheel. It's like, it was a hamster wheel he was on. And they're not moving anywhere. All right? And, it, and it's the same thing. Money, eat, sleep, uh, uh, relaxation, entertainment, money, eat, sleep, right there. You know, they can't even see what the hell's going on until, you know, you know, now when the egg price is up high, they, they, you know, they're, oh, oh, egg, egg prices is up high, you know? But this is Daniel's chapter 5, verse 11. It says, um, there is a man in our kingdom whom is the spirit of the holy gods. And in the days that our father light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods was found in, in him whom the king Nebuchadnezzar, our father, the king, I say, Thy father made master of the magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and soothsayers. Verse 12, as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpreted the dreams and showing of hard synthesis and dissolving of doubts were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Bel Belteshazzar. Now let Daniel be called and he will show the interpretation. So they was trying to understand an interpretation, right? It says that a hand over the wall, right? Verse 13, then was Daniel brought in the, before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou Daniel, which are the children of the captivity of Judah, whom the king my father brought out of Jewry? Verse 14, I have even heard of thee, that is, the, the spirit of the gods is in thee, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me, that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they cannot show the inter interpretation of the thing. And I have heard of thee, verse 16, that thou canst make in interpretations and dissolve doubts. Now if thou canst read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof, thou shalt be clothed with scarlet and have a gold chain about thy neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered and said before the king, let thy gifts be thyself and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king and make known the interpretation to him and make known to him the interpretation. See, Daniel ain't like these dudes these days who's going to charge you a uh, thousand, two thousand dollars for courses and things of that nature. The apostles, all right, here it is of GMS, right? The Most High set them up to give out this wisdom and knowledge to save souls, you know, and they're not charging at the course. Yahweh Shai gave up his life, okay, gave up his life. All right, gave unlocked wisdom, understanding, spiritual powers, right, at no cost. So the righteous out there, all right, are way better than any motherfucker that out there that could put up a number 
all right, uh, for things, especially if they're already good, you know? So this is why, man, ain't nobody messing with the Apostle. Hey, man, ain't, can't even compare. He's the most righteous individuals of, of, of all time, man. Of all time, you talk about saving a soul. Who can imagine if, you know, somebody could do, if they could do a, a saving soul. They're charging millions and billions. We talk about saving souls, man. We talk about saving souls, man. Not even just a life, souls. You get access to the creator of heaven and earth who can determine your days, can de de determine, um, um, you know, uh, it says, uh, can you fear him who will kill up the body and the soul, determine the state you come in your next lifetime? That's man. That, that, that's, you know, <laughs> hey, even the dude, he tried to buy the Holy Spirit from me. <laughs> He's like, man, you perish with your money, you know? <laughs> He's probably the first to, uh, yo, Peter, you should do a course, man. <laughs> Peter's cursed him out, man. Get your stupid ass out of here, right? But hey, this is why then you you know these men were um were, were, were so amazed, man. So amazing through the Holy Spirit, right? Verse eighteen, O thou, because it say by the truth, sell it not, right? Verse eighteen, O thou, King, the Most High God gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. Verse nineteen, and for the majesty that he gave him, all people, nations, and tongues trembled in fear before him, whom he would. Whom he would, he slew, and whom he would, he kept alive, and whom he would, and, and whom he would, he set up, and whom he would, he and whom he would, he put down. See, verse twenty. But when his heart was lifted up, and his mind hardened in pride, he was disposed from his kingly throne, and they took his glory from him. Verse twenty one. And he was driven from the sons of men, and his heart was made like the beast, and his dwelling was with the wild asses. They fed him with the, with grass like oxen his body was wet with the dew of heaven till he knew that the most high god ruled in the kingdom of men and that he appointed over it whomsoever he will so that is why your cat your wisdom is cat the most high can actually put a spirit on anyone to think that they're a dog they think that you know you got bugged out people i've seen articles where this dude he became a nine-year-old a ten a grown-ass man who had kids his mind, in his mind, he became a 10-year-old baby, and then he was playing with the kids, and a family adopted him. Damn, he didn't like fucked out ass people. And the door, he played with the daughter, and the daughter wanted to be older than him, a bigger sister. So he said, okay, and now I'm a six-year-old. And that grown-ass man is in, uh, but they all sick. Because who the hell adopts a grown man? But it's that, you know, people are into some crazy shit, man. But that's because, what? Their wisdom is cat. All right? He... The Lord uh, 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 filled, um, he's able to take away from the tank, fill the tank up. You know, he took away from uh, Nebuchadnezzar, all right, and made him think as if he's a dog. Think, I mean, think of as he's a, um, he ate with an ox. He ate, as a, ate the grass as an ox, right? All right, and, and, and his body was wet with the dew. So he knew that the Most High God ruled the kingdom of men. So who, who gave him that understanding? The Lord didn't pour that wisdom back in him. And that he appointed it over whomsoever he will. So everything, the rulerships is limited. The only everlasting rulership is going to be with the nation of Israel. And that's what we here to proclaim, man. That's why we don't got to worry. That's why we don't got to, oh, 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 oh. ah, they, the, they, these dudes need to worry about that. Us, stay prayed up. We look forward to prophecies. And we be happy about it because we ain't got to be, uh, uh, we ain't put up underneath the, uh, 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 um, the you know, run out of breath. This dude is. He's got it in a short time, not us. We just got, we got to keep pushing it through, prophesying, you know, and looking for the, and hastening into the coming of the day of the Lord, man. You know, that's why a uh, year of, um, hope, the hopeful year of fulfilling all the prophecies, right? Um, verse 22, and now his son, O Belteshaw, has not um, humbled thy heart, though thou knewest all, all, all this. Verse 23, but it has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee, and thy and thy lords, and thy wives, and thy, and thy concubines have drunk wine in them. And thou hast praised gods of silver and gold, of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, whose are all thy ways, thou hast not glorified. That's why it is scary, because your breath, the numbers of breaths, inside you is calculated your lungs the beat of your heart is calculated you know how they put the 808 on there and they're like man there's gonna be this many beats per minute you know what i mean they can speed up the beats per minute 
you know, and it's going to play for this long and they're going to loop the beat and it's going to play for five minutes. The most high guy, that's just like that, man. On the timeline, man. On the timeline. That ain't scary. That ain't nothing to be like, okay, I understand that. I ain't got the rhythm. I can't control the rhythm. You can't edit the rhythm of your beat and your heart and everything. That at that, that one point, the most high going to be like, all right, that's it. The music stops, you know? And that's a humbling thing. So you got to be prayed up. You got to be having mind a certain way. And it says, um, um, verse 24, then was the part of thy hand sent from him and his writing was written. Verse 25, and this is the writing that was written many, many to Kyle or phrasing. This is the interpretation of the thing. Meaning, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. So everything is calculated, man. Verse to Kyle, I mean, verse 27, to Kyle, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Everything is calculated. When you weigh things, it's calculated. When you number things, it's calculated. Right? Verse 28, Perez, thy kingdom is divided. That's dealing with mathematics and given to the, the Medes, Salaki, and the Persians. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, that, that's uh, verse 28. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, man. You know, and then uh, Daniel was pretty much raped, uh, the third ruler of the kingdom, you know, afterward, which is calculated. He was going, you know, <laughs> hey. So, um, you know, man, uh, I got a few more precepts, man. I got a lot more precepts, actually. Uh, I ain't going to uh, see which ones I get through the Holy Spirit. But, you know, since we was um, talking about health, you know, the most high um, in Genesis 6 and 3, he numbered man's days to 120 years, right? And in Psalms 90 and 10 through 12, he pretty much, the Lord pretty much, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, it's like it, all right? Pretty much said that. Let me get that. Psalms 90 and 10. Psalms 90, 10. It says that the days, let me start from now. For all our days are passed away in our wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is that is told. That's it. Yo, remember son from the block, yo, yo, yo. You know what I mean? You spend your days as a tell told. You know, that's all Jake do. They just talk about it. Some Jakes be already dead. Because they be talking about with the old days. That means that they ain't living no more. Y'all remember, y'all remember. You know what I mean? They reminiscing on all that because them, they already dead. You know what I mean? They ain't cre they ain't still uh pushing this forth. Now nah, we 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 push this the elect is gonna be pushing this this thing forth, man. And we're gonna be hastening to the coming of the day of the Lord. And then we're gonna walk through this thing like a memorial, like, yo, remember. Remember that, remember this, right? For the t for the days, um, verse 10, the days of our years are three score years and 10, all right, which is 70. Three score meaning 60 and 10, 70. If by reason of strength, they be four score years. If the most high bless you with that extra strength, you can get 80, right? Yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So man, we know it. But like I said in Genesis 6, because you might, oh, man, but there's people who live past that. Yeah, the Lord said it at 120, but it's just giving you a ballpark number where most most people don't even make it to 70 or 80 either. You know what I mean? And for those who do, you know, you know, really going to make it to see anybody that's going to hit 120, you know? So <clears throat> everything pretty much is calculated. And the Lord could go further, you know, and I'm here to bring that out. That's what gives you the fear and what makes you turn into him, Right? And I'm not giving the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, I mean, how do you live forever, uh, <laughs> doctrine, but I'm giving the, you know, hey, you know, this understanding does make you live forever through the Holy Spirit, you know, <laughs> but not in the, um, the same body, but pretty much when you're dealing with your how about Shimei Abishai, check out what you get. Second Kings chapter 20, verse one. And in, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. So, A, Hezekiah was told by a prophet that it's all, it's a wrap. You know, set your house in order. You about to go to the spirit realm right now. You know, and it was live and direct right now. That's a king. You know, ain't that going to be, yo, man, you, you going, 
that that would be a huff, a tough uh thing to to say to a king. You know what I mean? Because usually, or you know, someone you love, you gonna you won't want them. I mean, yo, you know, man, Lord, when he goes, nah, he told him the Lord. This is what the Lord said. You know, but check this out, verse two. Then turn. This is why the. This is what I'm saying that, that understanding the humbleness of knowing that. These things is out of your control should make you do this, what Hezekiah did. Verse 2, then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, saying, Verse 3, I beseech thee, O Lord, Yahweh, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Verse 4, and it came to pass before Isaiah was gone out into the middle of the court that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Verse 5, turn again. So right when Isaiah was walking out the court, word came unto him, go back and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people, thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will heal thee on the third day, calculated, thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. Verse six, and I will add unto thy days 15 years, and I will deliver thee in the city out of out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Verse seven, and Isaiah, and Isaiah said, take a lump of figs, and they took and laid it on a boil, and he recovered. Verse eight, and Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, what shall, what shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and I shall go up into the house of the Lord the third day? Verse nine, Isaiah said, the sign shall thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward 10 degrees or go back 10 degrees? And, as, and Hezekiah answered, it is a light thing for the shadow to go down 10 degrees. Nay, but let the shadow return back, backwards 10 degrees. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto the Lord and he brought the shadow 10 degrees backward by which it had gone down in the Tao of Ahab. Man, Baraka Day Yahweh, Baraka Day Yahweh Shai, Baraka Day Yahweh, Baraka Day Shai, Baraka Day Yahweh, Baraka Day Shai. By Shimakaka Dutch, that is powerful because with once again it being out of our control, we have the ability, the Lord through the through the mercy and grace of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we have the ability to ask and put requests in the Most High to change the times that's already set, change your lifespan, bring back uh, the, the, the the sundial. Get, you know, heal you up. It's not the figs. It's the Lord that did it. He was going to die. Why didn't he say, you'll get the figs now? For the, for you, all you health people, all you health do is your ass is, you're, 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 you, you limited too. No matter how healthy you eat, do, you know, brothers, don't be over-righteous. The water you drink, bro, you limited about what, you know, now I'm not saying to get out of control. You know what I mean? I'm not saying, yo, oh, I'm limited, man. I'm just wake up and eat Laffy Taffy's and Starburst. No, you know, use your damn brain. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, you can't emphasize on you know, the health eating, all right, because everything is is, is um, pretty much on the Lord. And that's why it was crazy what they was doing to the people with the whole jab, because they was putting everything in that. Yo, if you take this, you good. If you take this, you good. And meanwhile, people drop it dead. Heart attacks, strokes, brain, brain, um, uh, strokes in the brain, all of this crazy crap, dying, dropping dead, still dying, even if not that, from other deaths out there, you know? You gotta, yo, man, hey, man, you gotta feel your how while your was shot. You gotta fall back into his hands. All right, your life is all you already numbered. That's the beaut that's the beautiful thing to know to be able to go back to the Lord and pray. It is a beautiful thing to know that. Because when you don't know that, you in your mind, you think you controlling shit and your destination and all that, and you're gonna get zapped that way. And if the most I've been with you, you will hungry. Um I had a few more, but you know what, man? I'm gonna just grab a. I'm gonna grab a second address, four thirty six. Um, second address four thirty six, and I ended off with this, you know. Um, second address step four, verse thirty. Thirty six, yeah. And unto these things, Uriel the archangel gave them answer and said, even when the number of seeds is filled in you, for he have weighed the world in the balance. Earth was weighed in the balance. 
Look how it split up after the flood. That, that was calculated. That was science. The Lord divided the earth. That's why I could fit like a puzzle. That's mathematic. How you won't fuck with that? Oh, the priest Malachi did a beautiful video, and I seen in the video where the, um, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean meets, and it's like a, it, it, you know, the water colors change. You know, salt, uh, fresh water, salt water don't mix. Man, it's, a, it's amazing. It literally separates. They put oil on water, you'll see it separates. That's a science. Knowledge and wisdom was put in that for that to happen, man. That's why the Lord ate. Because at times, um, I forgot what story that was, brother threw the axe in the water. An axe, you know, because you might tell, oh, according to science, this is what things happen. Well, why, why when he threw the, uh, what was it? It was an axe. Why when he threw that axe in the water, the Lord allowed it to um, to um, 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 float back up. What was the science of that? That's a dense object. It, it's supposed to sink in the ground. That was a miracle. What about with the, uh, what we just read with, with Hezekiah, you know? The sundial is supposed to is a lightning for the degrees to move on the sundial a certain way, but imagine you seeing a clock go backwards. You know? Oh no, science, your science, your science. <laughs> the Lord said things, but the Lord can change things. And that's what we're dealing with, and that's the beautiful thing about knowing that, man. For so Barak that was shot by Shimon for knowing that. Verse 37. By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times, and he doth not move nor stir them up until the said measure be fulfilled. So the Lord got this whole thing calculated, man. So we ain't nothing to worry about. But guess what? At the end of the day, it says in Matthews that the Lord is shortening the times for the elect's sake. <laughs> so, you know, you know that's why the uh, doomsday clock, they moved up and time be feeling like it's flying. But the Lord shortened the times, you know, for the elect's sake, man. The Lord wants us to get up out of this thing, man. Hey, man, um... Um, with that being said, you know, um, you know, I'm gonna say uh call hello you might how about shimmy I was shy by shimmy cockadush. Until the next time I say shalom, Lord woman, this was a humbling and edifying lesson, you know, that I uh, put brothers, you know, sisters out there to pray and to come before the Lord a certain way, because we don't got it, we calculated, you know what I mean? You 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 are already decided upon, you know, you won't got no room. To where you gonna do it? You the only thing you do is go and bow and come before you. How about some y'all shy and ask and put up a require a, a prayer and a request unto him? You understand? So all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakadosh. Till next time, Shalom.